but so has its star, Robert Wagner, whose much publicized marriage and remarriage to Natalie Wood has become one of Hollywood's greatest romances. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, work that we're in, and, um, and it's, uh, anybody who's in it is really privileged to be in it, and uh, I feel it. But it is not the only thing in the world. You know, the profession is not the only thing. And it's a very beguiling profession because in the sense that it can bring you into it so easily. You can become so consumed in what you're doing that you become insular to anything else on the outside. You become so involved with being, keeping it to be successful, keeping it up. And the importance and your priorities can become so changed. It's been very, very fortunate for me to, that, uh, that Natalie has been able to, when I get a little crazy, were able to calm me down a little bit, you know, and say, hey, wait a minute, that's not the most important thing, you know, that is not really what it's all about. And by having that working so well for me and having all that outside life and being in love with her and having all that go, that helps me so much in the profession. Yeah. And it helps me, it, it works, it comes back into this, you know. What happened in each of your lives that made it possible for you to come back together and create an even stronger union than before? Well, Pat, you know, I don't think that you ever... Uh, a lot of love, you know, and I think that relationships, uh, when we were married the first time, it was a very intense relationship, and I didn't really ever think that we, that there was much of a chance of our getting back, and we all, we ever, each one of us went in different directions, you know, and fortunately, it was, the timing was just perfect, I mean, she, uh, was free and I was free and we we both met again um, and from that moment we really realized that uh, what we had was so precious and so marvelous that we we got it back together you know? and uh, you know sometimes you in life you can you can miss many things if you're so self-involved and so terribly uh, uh, Self, selfish in a sense, you know, you can you can miss the moments that go by in your life, you know that, and you, can, you never know whether if you're not open enough to see those, you know, and we were just both ready for that to happen, and she's just a wonderful, wonderful lady, and um, that's lucky when you have that, and I'm also in love with her, so I'm a very fortunate man, you know, I'm, I really do, I'm in love with my wife, and that's wonderful. When husband and wife are in the same business, I mean, it can create competition. Has that ever been a problem for you? I've never had that kind of um, problem in my relationship with uh, with Natalie, but I, I can understand where it would be because, I mean, it's just we've just both been in it so long, you know, and we've been, and to me, it's so wonderful to have someone uh, that loves you and cares about you who is going to um, give you a, a true comment about your work and about what you're doing and that you can share that with them. I mean, that's terrific for me. I love that. I mean, I, I talk to her about the scripts and about everything that we do. I mean, we share with each other. And uh, it's very helpful. I mean, you know, you have... honestly be critical of each other's work? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Didn't Natalie recently turn down a movie role because it was your hiatus period and she wanted you to be together? She's done that often. Yeah, we, we've, we've done that a lot, you know, that, that if we want to be with the kids, that we want to have and go away on a trip together, so I thought we won't let that, that, that take a precedent. So you know where the priorities are, that's why it works. Yeah, yes. How about doing the series together? It would be very difficult for us to, to work together in, like, on these hours. And the way we're, I'm involved now, if we were both working now on this, we would never, uh, or any, any series, we've been asked to do that. Uh, we would never have any time. We'd, we just wouldn't be, <laughs> there wouldn't be anybody at home. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to take this on and she, you know, wa watches the, the other side of it. When you were a young man, spending many an afternoon watching movies and dreaming of becoming a movie star, is this what you dreamed about? Oh, yes, very much so. I always wanted to be in pictures, and I always wanted to be an actor. And I wanted to, you know, find my own identity, which was very hard, you know, for a long time, because I think people are so impressed by other people and so uh, moved by what they can do that you, at least who I was, that you can you start to imitate them and become them. So it took me quite a long time to shake that off and kind of 
get the courage to express my own my own style. You know? There's nothing been... wrong with being content with the Cary Grant, however. Oh, my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but there is a comparison. I mean, I think there's a very obvious comparison. Yeah, well, that's a very nice compliment. I, what's one I, I really cherish a lot, because I admire him tremendously. He's a wonderful, wonderful actor, and he's done such great work. And um, that's a very, very high compliment. I'm delighted with that. <laughs> you went through a low period in your career, but you got out of it. With the help of a lot of people. And a belief in yourself, I would think, too. Yes, you know, I, I don't believe in myself, but, you know, you can believe in yourself, and sometimes it doesn't, it's not working right at that moment. You don't, uh, I had a, uh, the, the one, I was involved in a film in, in uh, when I broke, when Natalie and I broke up, I went and lived in Europe, and I wanted to get away from uh, doing program films and, doing something with a little bit more depth. And I was very fortunate that I had met uh, Vittorio De Sica, who was a wonderful, wonderful director. And he put me in a film with Sophia Loren, and he sort of just changed, he just, it just sort of changed me around, you know, to start getting into really, you know, deeper, deeper kind of th stuff, you know. And I was, um, I was able to take all of that, you know, to accept all of that and drink it in and use it, you know. That's what we were talking about before. I think sometimes people, because of their self-involvement, shut a lot of things out. They never let it, you know, they never are able to, you know, and believe that somebody can help them. You know. But I've had, I've had a lot of, a lot of good luck in that area that I've been able to, to use the, uh, the facilities of a lot of these people that helped me so much, you know. Do you feel now that your life is really pretty much what you want it to be? Oh yeah, I'm very happy doing what I'm doing. Um, and I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I got it all together, you know. I, I like my work, and I'm, uh, I, as I told you before, I love my wife, <laughs> and I love my children, and uh, I'm really a very lucky guy. I, I'm a very, very lucky man that all that's worked out for me. Robert Wagner certainly seems to be typecast for the roles he plays. Boy, how lucky for him. Thank you, RJ. And Pat, thank you.